but I don't think we can find leather bands and even NATO straps at such affordable price anywhere else online that has a variety of selections to choose from. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. We are back with another watch straps review video today. I think it has been a while since I last did a watch strap review, so here we are. In front of you, I have three straps that I've purchased recently from cheapest NATO strap, or maybe I shouldn't say purchase recently, I purchased for a while and I received them recently due to the delays because of the disease going up around the world. So without further ado, let's get into some of the watch straps that I have with me today. So the first one, it's uh, what cheapest NATO straps call as the Heritage Vintage Brown. Let me move the other two watches away. So I put it on my Gekota watch. I think this one is called E-01 if I'm not mistaken. And I've also did a review video for this watch. So if you're interested about the watch, I'll put a link on the top right corner of the video and also on the description below. But today we are going to look at the straps here from Cheapest NATO Straps. Well, what caught my attention about this strap when I first received it was how soft and how pliable this leather band is. From the pictures, you know, when I when I clicked and added into the my, my cart, I was thinking that no, it's gonna be like a, a regular kind of heritage style watch band, which is gonna be stiff and thick and all that. But surprisingly, even though the thickness is not very thick, or maybe not very thin, it's still quite substantial, but it's how soft the leather is that surprised me a lot. You see, I can do this and I can do this. Well, most of the leather bands from cheap, cheapest needle straps, they come with quick release spring, spring bars with uh, sometimes uh, not a lot of uh, watch enthusiasts. They are pretty happy about it, but uh, I'm okay. I mean, it's good because I can swap out the band easily without needing a tool, but sometimes the head of this thing here, I'm not sure what this is called, it get caught in between the leather. So when you're trying to like move it, or remove the leather, you actually cause more damage to the leather band itself. So, yep, it's debatable, but I would say it's still quite uh, practical. And what we have here is a 20 millimeters width band, and I think it's called, I don't know how to read this, uh, leather, it's uh, made in Sweden. Yep, so we have a uh, dark brown, on the top and we have a black lining on the back and it comes with this kind of buckle. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we can opt for a different types of buckle here but I'm just too lazy. I just add it in the card and click send. And this one, it's a short version of the leather strap. So you can see there's an S short meaning that it's shorter than regular watch band so the holes and the length are shorter so it will fit my small wrist better my small six inch wrist better so when i put it on my wrist i don't have massive extra length as with a regular watch band and i do not need to punch extra holes for me to get this fastened on my wrist so I have a 6 inch wrist here of 15.2 centimeters if you are into metric and I'm still on I don't know the fifth hole so there are a lot more holes I think I'm halfway there so I can if I have a bigger wrist I can still wear this and then if I get skinnier you know because of the disease and all that I don't have enough food to eat so yeah I can still go a little way up and I don't have the problem of the other tail end coming up all the way to the watch head. So this is how this heritage vintage brown look on my wrist and on a dark color watch dial. The next strap that I'm going to share with you is also a dark brown strap 
and I put it on my uh, what do you call these Seiko Japanese garden I also did a review video for this piece so if you're interested as usual there's gonna be a card at the top right corner of the video and on the description box below so this is another of the heritage leather but this time around it's a suede leather i'm not sure whether you can see that suede under this lighting but again it surprised me on how soft the leather band is i mean it feels like it doesn't feel like leather to me or maybe i have not a lot of experience with leather but it feels like um fabric kind of a thick fabric that is going around here so yeah it's really very nice very comfortable and uh yep same thing i think i bought the short version here so if you have a smaller wrist this kind of soft leather they would wrap around the wrist much better than stiffer leather here so it really helps to hug the wrist you know especially if i have a small wrist and if you have a small wrist, smaller wrist like me it definitely holds the watch much better and yes still halfway there and not a lot of excess uh, tail end here and it's very very comfortable i don't know it's very nice i mean it, it, it's I, I do not know how to describe it but it's it's like those uh what do you call it's a suede but uh, i don't know it's some kind of like a very soft suede jacket that you, you can put on you know yep it's very nice so another leather strap that i want to share with you i think this is something new from cheapest nato strap i'm not sure because i've been buying a lot of straps from them but uh, i think i've only seen this aviator strap recently and this is what they call the avi aviator strap and this i selected is the dark brown version and this one is an 18 millimeters band because uh, on my Laco Aachen 39, it comes with an 18 millimeters lug width to give the watch a much bigger proportion. So it looks uh, more correct to be an aviator watch or an, uh, you know, from that era, especially from the Luftwaffe era and all that. But unfortunately for this strap, they do not have a shorter version. So I went with the regular version and yes, I need to punch an extra hole for the strap to be able to fit my wrist. That's, that goes to show how short or how small my wrist are, or my wrist is. So um, let's try to do some uh, comparison on the length of the watch strap. So if you look at uh, the first half, or maybe I should remove that to be easy. I think I did this kind of comparison between the regular and the short band before, but I'm just going to do it now so that you don't have to search for my video. So on this side, on the shorter side, the short leather, it's, I would say, I don't know, one centimeter shorter. And on this long side, let me just remove this. I believe they have the proper dimensions on their website, but I'm just going to give you like a hint of how they feel. I think it's about one centimeter shorter on each side of the leather. I could be wrong, but for a more correct or specific length, do check out cheapestnatostraps.com. And again, this is not a sponsored video. I just happen to like their straps with their unbeatable value. I don't think we can find leather bands and even NATO straps at such affordable price anywhere else online that has a variety of selections to choose from you know you can't go wrong with them and if you look at it um, the number of holes are also more closer to this uh, luck end here so you don't have to punch additional holes like what I did for this aviator uh, strap Okay, so this is how the watch sits on my wrist and this is how the strap is. Yes, I'm on the punched hole and when I say that this tail end here is going up all the way, yep, you can see it's you know quite high but this one is still okay because I have some 
leather straps that this tail end is actually all the way up to here that blocks the rivet. So it's still good, um, but I do wish a cheaper snato strap would release like shorter version of these straps. And one good thing about this strap is that they actually have real rivets, unlike uh, some cheaper alternatives, you know, where they just like put two fake or four rivets there. I believe these are, I don't know what you call buttons or rivet, but they are the real deal here. So, yep, I think that's it for this video. If you're new to my channel, please help to subscribe to my channel. It does help me a lot. And if you like this kind of watch straps review video, please like the video so that I know I can make more of such video. Alright, so stay safe guys and see you around. Bye.